Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Josh with Impact, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for checking out this video. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how I closed a $17,000 wholesale deal last month from one phone call that was 20 minutes. So here we go. All right, guys, here she is. This is the beauty that I just bought in one phone call and then sold a few phone calls later for a cool, calm, a profit of $17,000, which is pretty good. And so I'd like to walk you through how exactly we got this deal, how I got it in one call, and then some of the details of the call. So this deal right here is in Maryland, in Parkville, Maryland, to be specific. And as you can see here, the house is a little bit beat up, uh, just a little bit older from the outside. You couldn't really tell much from street view, other than if you look around, the neighborhood is you know pretty average for where we live. Um, but there are, as you can see here, some nicely renovated homes. And the one that we bought is definitely the ugly duckling of the neighborhood. And so I was happy to get the phone call. And this lead actually came in on a Google pay-per-click call. This is one of our strongest lead channels. And this came in on a Saturday at about 12.30 p.m. And generally when the phone calls come in on the weekends, you know you have to pick them up because most of the people calling you have nine to five jobs. And so their off time is on the weekends or at nights. So here's the tip. If you have inbound uh, leads coming in from Google pay-per-click or Facebook or Craigslist or wherever else, if it rings in the evening or on the weekends, you better be picking those up because most of the time those are going to be your hottest calls. So this guy called me right here and this was an inherited house that he had. Someone from his family was living in there, but he knew it was really beat up and it needed to go. And so he had already made up his mind that he wanted to sell it before he actually called me. And so it only took me 20 minutes on the phone to um, find what his motivation was, find out how much he wanted, and actually to come to an agreement with him. So 20 minutes on the nose, I had all the information that I needed, and we were already in agreement on price. And so I'm going to play that phone call for you in just a second so you can hear the entirety of it to see how I go through things. And then afterwards, we can break down the deal. Okay, so here's the call. Prime Mission Global, can I help you? Hey, this is Randy. Yes. Hi, Randy. This is Josh with Impact Home Team. I missed your call yesterday about Dales for Road. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Listen, um, I'll tell you what I got. The house used to belong to my, my mom and dad. They both died. And um, I am the executor of the joint estate. So I'm charged with getting rid of the house. So I will tell you that the house needs a roof. Uh, no problem. The inside needs ceilings. It needs a new kitchen. I have been away, but I just got back home. Had I known the house was in this condition, I would have given my parents money to fix this house up, to fix it up. But I, nobody knew. It's it's not in great shape inside, but it, 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 it but it, a contractor or a builder or whatever could do wonders on it. But it does need a new roof. No um, problem. And some of the roofs inside have leaked because of it. But, okay. You know, it does need a new roof and. Um, it, it 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 needs work inside. It needs you know like carpet inside or whatever to have the floors standard or whatever. But anyway, sure. sitting on, on a little over a half an acre lot it's in Baltimore County. From what I the way I read the the paperwork, and I could be wrong, but I think you I think you would be allowed to put a duplex in there. Okay. If you wanted to. So anyway, I need to sell it. Um, that will include my, my, my duties as the executor and trustee. And uh, okay. I'm, I'm open to, uh, to any offer as it is to take it. Okay, I'm, got it. I've got, you know, frankly, I've, I've got, I'll be totally upfront and transparent. I've got two other people looking at it. So that's where we are. I just want to sell it. And uh, assuming that I can sell it, how fast can you go to settlement? In Baltimore County right now, it's taking three to four weeks to get all of our title work back. So including mm -hmm. the lien certificate, and then the title work and everything else associated is taking three to four weeks right now. So I can go just as fast as the my title company can. Yeah, no, I so, can't believe me. I'm, um, you know, <laughs> I, I know how that works. Okay, um, very good. So I'm looking at Google Street View, and it looks like it's a nice little white Cape Cod, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, tax record says 1,200. How many square feet? 12, 1,206. Does that sound right? Um, it's a little more than that. They were really off. It's probably closer to 1,300 square feet in size, yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. So you said as soon as possible, but I mean, you know, if we can line up on the dollar signs and the other important details, when's ideal for you to 
to sell it. I'm, I'll sell it right now. I got it. Okay. It's like really quick. Okay. Got it. And so yeah, if you were going to sold everything else, uh, everything else in the estate has been sold. You know, there's some furniture in there that, you know, people are going to take, but anything else in the house, I, I, I can just leave it and you can bulldoze it or whatever you want to do with it. Just throw it away. I don't care. Okay. Got it. In terms of the condition inside, if you're going to rate it from, you know, like zero to 10, where zero is horrible, 10 is like a magazine. What do you think you rate it? Probably a probably a four. Okay, fair enough. Is it three bed, one bath? Yeah, it's actually okay. three bed, two bath actually. Two bath. Okay, got it. Nice little Cape Cod. Does it have? It has a basement, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is that finished or unfinished? Unfinished. Okay, got it. On the inside, you said you need a new kitchen, right? Like that's an old. Yeah, it's an old kitchen. They, my parents were both both near a hundred when they died. And, Whoa. Uh, they didn't. Um, you know, like I said, I was away. I was disgusted when I came in and saw the shape of the house, but because um, I would have definitely taken care of it, but I didn't know. And I guess they were too ashamed to tell me or whatever. But for whatever reason, you know, it's it's not good inside. And but I, you know, it's it, it, you know, it, it, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just not good inside. Yeah, no problem. I mean, that's what we do for a living anyway. So um, it's not a no issue at all for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. In terms of price, do you have an idea what you think is fair, or maybe you know what the neighbors are selling for? Honestly, I yeah, I. It's funny because the people down the street from them were in a similar a similar situation, and their house was I'm going to say pretty close to the same condition. The the you know it was a single single gentleman. He was wasn't capable of taking care of his house, and it was pretty run down too. And um, they got for that house. I know they got. I think they got 137. Wow. For the, for okay. the house in the land. I think my father's land was like 0.52, and I think theirs was like 0.63 acres. Okay. So Do you know what number that one was? Uh, I don't. I don't actually. Um, I just. I was just going through the land records the other day, and I just happened to glance at it. And, but I'm yeah, no worries. Them. Make me an offer. I am very reasonable. Um, but, you know, just make me an offer. I'll, I'll, you know, some place to start at. I don't care. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'd be super interested in seeing it. Where are you at with the other guys in terms of offers? I have one guy making me an offer on Tuesday. Uh, he just did a drive. He told me he was going to do a drive by this weekend and take a look at it. I had an, I, and the other guy said that he was he would be back to me Tuesday or Wednesday as well. Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, wow. One of them is a construction company, and um, uh, the other guy is basically an investor. He's a flipper. Okay. Is it Eugene? No. Actually, his name was Don. Don. I know him. Don Testerman. Probably. So, yeah, I think that is it. Yeah, I know him. All right. Okay. I'm interested in, in the house for sure. I love Parkville. Um, I think I know what the house can sell for afterwards. If You know, I've done probably eight, ten houses there in the past two years in Parkville, and I know what they can sell for after. I think yours as a three-bed, two-bath, 1,200-ish square feet. If we fully finish uh, the basement, make it a nice living room down there, living area, I think that, you know, this can go for 255 ish If we just mm -hmm. clean it up in the basement and make it a nice renovation everywhere else, I think we can get, a lot you know. Of cosmetic, you know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, I had toyed with the idea of just refinishing it and selling it, but really, I've got to get back to my business. And, sure. Um, what kind yeah, of business I, are you in? Believe it or not, I'm, I'm one of nine companies worldwide. I sell commodities, but I do commodities on a sovereign basis, meaning most of my clients are governments. So I sell gold, silver, platinum, palladium, diamonds. I do no currency. way, really. Yeah, we do currency exchanges. But, like, when I say I sell diamonds, we sell bulk diamonds to investors. The minimum is a hundred thousand carats. We sell gold. You know, we sell gold gold by the ton, by the metric what? ton. So no way. You know, yeah, that's what we do for a business. And there are only a couple of a couple of businesses in the world that do it. My licenses cost me two hundred grand a year. So, what? And I just don't have time to you know to put it into this house. It would literally cost me money to 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 stay yeah. here and do. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. I just want to okay. get it off my plate and. Um, Got it. Here, let me see if I can get a little bit closer in terms of where my number would be. Inside, does it have forced air or is it a boiler? Uh, no, I, it's forced air. Okay. And is that just heat or does that have air conditioning too? There is, um, there's no air conditioning in the house. Okay. Um, you said that the it needed a new roof and that's totally fine. And then inside some of the drywall or some of the ceilings have fallen. Is that from the water leak coming down from the yeah, roof? 100%, 100%. Okay. So would you say that there's like moderate water damage inside or? No, I'd, yeah, I'd say it's moderate. I think that, you know, most of it, um, you know, that house was built 
a long time ago, back in the 40, I think it was like built in 1945. And the, you know, the, the, the joists and all are heavy. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's pretty hard to water damage those joists. Yeah. Sure, think, absolutely. You'll knock the bark off and put it in the house. So, mm-hmm. um, and it's all poured stucco from the, from the, the foundation to the ceiling. So it's not like there's block. So okay. it's solid as a rock. For, for you know the, the 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 foundation and all is solid as a rock. It's just it needs a lot of cosmetic work. Sure. Um, you know the ceiling is something that you know a couple sheets of uh, sheet rock and uh, stuff like that would take care of it. And you know uh, there might be a little bit of plumbing in there where, where for, for some of the pipes and whatnot. But I mean it's it's mostly like like small stuff. But it, it's it's like in the as labor intensive stuff. Yeah, sure. I totally understand. Downstairs in the basement, uh, do you get any water in in the basement down there? No, they had a. I, I, I talked to my sister about it, and she said they had a leak back about 1996 or seven, and they addressed it, and that was because the storm drain um, blocked up and the water just backed up in the in the basement. But that was like 20 years ago, so they haven't had okay. any problems with it. It's very dry down there now. No issues. Okay. On the outside, have they replaced any windows or any siding, or is that original? No, that's all original from when they built it. Okay, got it. On the outside, it kind of looks like stucco. It is. Okay. Poured stucco from the foundation to the roof. Okay, cool. That makes it even easier. The windows need to be replaced. That's no problem, though. Okay. Trying to see as much as I can from Google. It's a nice little lot, though. I like it. I like the street. Um, I think it would be a great rehab for us. Uh, like I said, I... You, you, mm-hmm. you, everybody on that street has pretty much upgraded their homes, and the lots are a decent size. Is it on well? No, it's, no, it's, got, it's, it's, got, it's got county water. Is it, and sewer? Yep. Okay, got it. Do you know if that line's ever been replaced? Yes, it has, I believe. Um, I think it was done in 19... I'm trying to think where I was. I'm going to say... Probably it's either either eighty nine or ninety. Okay. 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 I got it. I think I understand. Uh, you know more about the house. All those lines. If I'm not mistaken, all those lines are now CPVC. Okay. I got it. Got it. Okay. And you'd indicated that you'd like to sell as soon as possible. So you know, if we could come to an agreement, today is the twenty third, twenty fifth. We'd be talking. You know, end of February, beginning of March. I mean, is that would that be fine with you? To close it? Yes. Yeah, I'm fine with that. As okay. And you... agreement, yeah, I'll just stop looking and, it, you know, we'll sign paperwork and it's done. It's yours. Okay, got it. Um, and you had said before, too, that um, you were the co-executor, so there's someone else no, that I we would have to... No, nobody. I am the sole executor. Oh, you're I'm the sole executor. The I'm also okay. the trustee, so... Um, you know, there's no issue there. Okay, got it. I have a good idea of what the, you know, I think the home's going to be worth after. Like I said, I think it's probably 240 to 250 after. And, mm-hmm. you know, for homes that are 1,200 square feet, three bed in that range, I have a, a general understanding of how much I would need to put into it. In the kitchen and bathrooms, they are functional or any of those not working at all, you think? No, they're functional. You just, it's just, they just need they just need repair. Got it. You know, they're all they're all functional, but I mean the kitchen needs like you know new cabinets and new appliances, and it needs a new you know you just got a new, new floor that kind of thing. It needs a new kitchen. Now um, straight up, it needs a new kitchen. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean I'm talking I'm thinking of total renovation in and out. Just on the mm-hmm. outside being stucco, that's actually better. We can repair it and then paint it on the outside, give it a fresh new look, new windows. New roof, new gutters, you know, and then do a total yeah, overhaul on the inside. When when they redid that stucco in like 1971, um, man, that that it was beautiful. But it's just been left to run down. Yeah. And um, you know, when you don't take care of something, it, it it you know it just never looks the same unless it's taken care of. Yeah, absolutely. They, and they point, you know, when they first did that and painted it, oh, it was gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I have a good understanding of, um, you know, how much it's going to take to put into it. I think I'm going to be somewhere in the 75 to 85 range to go in there and do the total renovation. That's, that's exactly uh, where, what my number was. Wow, look at that. Okay, I must be on the money. 75 to 80,000. Okay, well, very good. With that being said, have you ever sold a house in Maryland before? Um, No, I have not. Okay, so in Maryland, when you go to sell a home, typically most people sell with a realtor, right? That's how 90% of homes oh, yeah. get sold. The other ways you can sell it are selling it yourself or you can sell it to a third party, normally an investor like me. If you're going to sell with a realtor, uh, as the seller, in Baltimore County, you're going to have between 10 and 11% cost right. to sell that home. I mean, if you sell for $100,000, you are going to walk with eighty nine dollars to 90000 right? right. Um, it goes to t- title fees and transfer and recordation taxes and then mm-hmm. commissions, of course. And I'm just telling you this because when you work with someone like me, there's none of those fees. 
meaning if we can line up on the dollar signs and the other important details, then that's the number you get on a check at the very end. We take care of the transfer taxes, recordation taxes, the title fees, everything right. like that. So we do that because it adds some a level of certainty and honesty to you know how we operate and what we do. That makes sense? Yeah, well, that's okay. exactly what I do with metal. Mm. You know, whatever, no. whatever number I give the government, that's what they pay for their metal, and we take care of all the transfer fees, titles, taxes, all that. So they, mm. you know, we just basically give them a net, a, basically what, it, what, what amounts to a net number. Mm. And, you know, they're happy that way. You know, if we, we tell them it's $120 million. That's what it is, $120 million, mm. and we take care of all the costs. Wow. So, so I know exactly what you're talking about, and, you know, perfect. That is super interesting. I'm interested in what you do. I like that. Well, you know, we also do a lot of platform investments. On the, you ever heard of trade platforms? Yes. Yeah. Well, basically, you put fifty million, minimum fifty million, into a trade platform, and in ten weeks, you got twenty-one billion. What? Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, very easy compound. Whoa. Yeah. It's how the mega rich get mega get, get mega richer. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. that's really interesting. <laughs> okay, I mean. With the- they they have uh they have bullet platforms that will give you a hundred percent in three weeks. What? So, you call yeah. what do you call that? A bullet platform? Yep. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Put twenty million in, you get forty million out in three weeks. Whoa, never heard that. Okay. But most that's, people haven't. Most bankers haven't either, but that's how the rich get richer. That's crazy, okay. Uh, well look for this house over here, um, at eighty one oh five. I understand where my costs are. Um I'd love to do the renovation with the spring market coming up. I know I can make it a quick and easy sale for you. All cash, I'd be able to do it in thirty to maybe forty days, however long that is. I would go by to look at it for sure, but sight unseen, I could go one hundred sixteen thousand on the house. Mm, uh tell you what, there's another sheet. Uh, I had a sheet here I wanted to look at real quick. I mean, if you could do 120, we got a deal. I'll do, I'll do it. 120, you got a deal? Mm-hmm. Okay, I can do 120. Okay. That was a so, tough. Yeah. What's your email, sir? Oh, it's hard. It's okay. So I'm going to get an agreement sent over to you mm-hmm. in just a few minutes. Um, It'll explain what we just talked about, buying the house as is, and we'll have a date on there. And, you know, it's a very short, easy form. Um, Are you going to be at your phone or computer in the next few minutes? I will be. Okay. I'm going to shoot this over to you and you take a look through it. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call back. I mean, if you like it, what are the next steps for you? Uh, if I like it, basically I'll sign it, send it back to you. And uh, we got a deal. I don't know um, however you want to do it. I mean, I'm pretty easy. Okay. Sounds good. Um, yeah. You can sign on your phone. I So I have on the tax record, it's Santo and Jacqueline Nastasi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. So on there, um, on the agreement, it's going to say the estate of. Yeah, that's fine. And and I'll then, sign it as the executor and I'll stamp it. Okay, that works. Okay. So this is going to come over in uh, two, three minutes. So it's like 242. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get this signed and sent over to you and I'll circle back in what, maybe 15 minutes? Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, that's, that works. Okay, got it. Well, hey, Randy, um, I look forward to talking to you again. Um, again, my yeah. name is Josh and uh, I'll talk Thank to you, you shortly. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So what did you think of that call? Pretty swift, right? 20 minutes and we had an agreement in right about 20 minutes. Uh, that definitely doesn't happen every day. That's what we call a lay down deal if he could get his price. And so the guy had a price, as you can hear, uh, I negotiated a little bit with him and got him down a little bit. Uh, but overall, he had a set price, which was a fair price for the neighborhood, something that I knew I could make a spread on, something I knew I could make a profit on, maybe not the biggest profit of my career, but not every deal is going to be that way. So anyway, we ended up making about $17,000 on that deal. I contracted it for 120000 and then sold it for one thirty seven. I uh, sold that deal uh, in the first day that we put it out. We had a bunch of offers. Um, I think we had five or six sight unseen offers, which is not surprising for a hot spring market, though I sold it uh, back in, it closed in February and we marketed it in late January. So we weren't quite to the spring market yet, but it was a real hot deal nonetheless. And so I'm going to walk you through some of the details. And so this one was in Parkville, like I said. This was a small little Cape Cod, three bed, two bath. So here's our podio system. And then I have some of the notes here that I debriefed after our phone call. And so here's what I had. Randy's the sole executor and trustee. It needs a roof and a kitchen. It was a four out of 10. It had forced air, no air conditioning. There was moderate water damage inside. 
and it was 100% from uh, the water coming in from the roof damage. And he said he replaced the water line back in 89 or 90. I offered him $116,000 right off the get-go, but then we agreed to $120,000. As you can hear in the phone call, there wasn't a whole lot of back and forth because I recognized uh, the opportunity that was presenting itself on the phone. A lot of times, if you negotiate too much with sellers, they're gonna back away and they're gonna call your next competitor. And that's what you don't wanna do. So that's the purpose of the rapport. When you're getting to know the person on the phone, you want them to get to know you, like you, and trust you, right? I very do not get asked very often for proof of funds as he didn't, as you could hear in that call, he never asked me, well, can you send me proof of funds? Because as I come off very confident on the phone, as I'm talking to him, like I know what I'm doing, um, he trusts that I can actually do what I say. So again, this was a Google pay-per-click lead that came in. And on these leads that come in, I know that if I don't do a deal with him, he's gonna go back to the same Google search and he's gonna call the one uh, search that's right below me. Most of the time in our market, we're popping up as number one. And so we get a lot of the first time phone calls and I am right on those. Myself and my team are right on those. And we know that timing is so important. And so we gotta pick up the phone right away and we have to address their concerns right away. And we have to build rapport right away. Because again, if you don't, he's just going right on to the next one. And so if you don't build enough rapport, if you don't build, give him enough confidence that you can actually do the deal, he's going to go right back to that Google search. And that is not what I wanted. So I went through that format. I went through that phone call. Um, I really found out his motivation and found out when he wanted to settle, uh, found out a little about him so I could really connect with him and build that rapport. And, and then asked him, you know, for the agreement before we got off the call there. So uh, let me know below if you guys have any questions there about the phone call, about any of the techniques that I use in that phone call. Um, but like I said, again, we got under contract for $120,000. And then we made about a $17,000 profit uh, in about 40 days total. We had it sold. We had this one under contract. And then we had it assigned within three days. So I got it on Saturday. And then we had it assigned by Monday. And I'll have to do an update video on this one right here because the, the guy that bought it was actually gonna knock it down and build brand new. Uh, Cause there, the lot here he thought was conducive to maybe two houses. So it was a really good value in that neighborhood for somebody. And uh, I'll have to circle back when um, we have an update on that video uh, or update on that house. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was a deep dive and a walkthrough uh, through one of our deals, through one of our recent deals that just sold in February of 2021. And again, this was a Google pay-per-click call. And so I'm going to do some future videos on Google pay-per-click because it has been one of our hottest lead sources in the last year. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know down below um, if you have any questions or what you want me to dive deeper into. I hope this helps one of you guys get your first deal or maybe your second or third deal. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.